Hey, I'm Kenneth Weidstab. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my weekly photo chats about real world experiences using real cameras. So today I'm going for the king daddy of them all. This is the camera that I've used the most lately because whenever I shoot street, whenever I take a drive, whenever I go anywhere, this camera is not broken, so I'm still shooting it. It's an old D610, which I'm not sure how many years ago this came out. I bought it used and it just works. I think this was at a camera store in Denver and they didn't know how to check the shutter count. So I said, well, just go to shuttercount.com, take the card out after you make a photo and we'll see. And it was priced at $300. It had just come in with no lens. And I'm like a full frame body for $300 with no lens. That's okay. He threw in a donkey strap. Okay, I'll take that. And he ended up putting the SD card into his computer and he checked the shutter count and it was like at 1900 exposures. So it was hardly ever used. And I've used it nonstop. Some of these parts are like coming off. There's like a part that I have to tape up a little bit. Sometimes I want to keep it on this infinity mark on the lens so that I know that I'm shooting everything from six feet to infinity will be in focus. But if it gets bumped to the one foot mark, everything is out of focus. So sometimes I'll put this piece of tape, this little piece of gaffer tape that I live that lives on the bottom of the camera. I'll put that on here just to tape the lens so it can't physically change focus. And it's not again in the most perfect of shape. There's a little button down here. I'm not sure what it does, but it's kind of pressed in and doesn't really want to come back out. And I don't know that I did that or if it came like that, but it doesn't matter. It's a workhorse. It's got that leather strap that Mary Lee got me one Christmas. It's got an eye cup so I don't mess up my eyeglasses with scratches. And I can shoot all day long with this. I have it set up for back button focus. It's an older full frame camera. It's got a 28 1.8, which I'm a 2420 guy, but it had a 28 1.8 at a local yard sale for $75. I'm like, for $75? I'll take the fast lens, it's a G lens, and it'll become what this camera goes on and what I go out when I shoot street, when I shoot out the car window. Everything I shoot out the car window is with this. And talk about a setup that doesn't cost that much nowadays. I bet you can get a D600 or a 610 for very little money compared to what things are going for new because it's not a current camera. I've had it for many years and it just works. A full frame Nikon body for a few hundred dollars. Like that's the example of it's not the camera. It's about getting to New York. It's about getting to Jersey. It's about getting out onto the street. It's going on road trips. It's getting to places where you can make photographs that tell stories. This camera staying home doesn't do me any good. Uh, the best medium format, digital, phase one, Leica SL2, where I stay home doesn't do me any good. But this camera going on a road trip does me wonders. And it's really not the gear. It's really about what we get ourselves in front of. The old line, I want to shoot interesting photos. What should I shoot? And the answer is always, what can you shoot? Where can you go? What do you have access to? Does your father work in the New York sewer system? Go into the sewer with him. That's going to be more visual. Hollywood knows if you're going to do a chase scene and you could do it in the park or if you can do it in the sewer, you do it in the sewer, that's much more visual. What can you shoot? Where can you go that you can get access? I photographed from the top of the William Penn statue in Philadelphia because I was on an assignment where I got to photograph the William Penn statue from scaffolding right on top of the Billy Penn hat. Nobody else has those photos because nobody else was there. Nobody gets to go there. I don't usually get to go there, but on assignment I did. And that's the kind of thing where you have to look at where can you go? What can you do? It's not the camera, but this camera I would highly recommend because it's not giving me anything but great results. The sensor is kind of dirty. Whenever I shoot stop down, I see little marks and I need to clean it, but I use it so much. It's going to get dirty again. 
And I lately I've just been editing those out. I usually, if I shoot wide open, you don't see any. If you shoot at f11 or 16, you'll start to see it. If it's against a, a blank area like the sky. If you shoot against, you know, a busy street scene, you'll never see them. And I'm a proponent of keeping your sensor as clean as you can, but I'm also a pro proponent of using your camera as much as you can and not worrying about it. This never has a lens cap on it. There is no case for it. It lives on the shelf next to my front door. When I leave, I grab it. It lives on my front passenger seat that I throw a hat over when I go into a place that I don't want to bring it, which isn't very many places. I usually bring it into supermarkets and every little place I go. But if you're talking about a camera that is a workhorse that is proven for me, go back to, I'll put a link to that gallery from my road trip. Everything was shot with this. As much as I wanted to shoot film and I, I brought a roll of flex and I brought a Leica film camera, I don't shoot street with a film camera. I shoot street with digital. And this one just works and works and works. And there must be others out there and they must not be terribly expensive since they're older, but it's a full frame digital sensor, 24 megapixels. What else do you need? Take the difference from that new Sony, from that new Canon and go take a trip and bring back pictures. All right, that's Ace Photography Talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you could support, hit the Patreon. Thanks to all of my supporters. I really appreciate it. I'll be back next week. We'll talk Leica, and then the week after that, we'll talk more gear. As always, here's the good light.